What kind of solutions will work with state channels and why are we here? Well, state channels are specifically a technique that allow you to have unanimous consensus amongst some group of people and allow them to have instant finality over transactions that update amongst them. So for example, if you have, say, five people that really want to update how much money they owe each other um, between themselves, you're going to have a payment channel scenario. What you can do using state channels is instantly kind of update those balances, assuming everyone agrees what the latest balances are, without paying any fees, without having to wait any confirmation times at all and with guaranteed finality on the blockchain, so that if you ever had to take that money out of the state channel and put it into your blockchain, you could do that um, with basically a guarantee that you have. So the state channel is simply a place in which you can sign transactions between each of the people within it to update the way in which they would distribute the funds if they were to ever take them out of the state channel. Um, and so anything that has that kind of general property where people can do that kind of sharing is useful. Um, it's useful to use state channels. Um, and so why are we here? Well, we're building something called Counterfactual. It's an open and generalized framework for building state channels. It handles a lot of the underlying fundamental kind of crypto economic research that Jeff Coleman has been doing over the past few years, and it turns it into a concrete library that any developer can just import, um, use a lot of the techniques that we've been developing over the years in a way that lets them simply let their users open payment channels or games that have the same kind of property or whatever they might want to do with a state channel all just with a simple library. And so we want to talk to developers, we want to talk to other people building similar sailing solutions or analogous ones that might be complementary, and just do our best to make sure that what we do build is as useful as possible for dApps that are going to be built on Ethereum or other kinds of blockchains like this. Probably the highlight for me, um, one project that was phenomenal to spend a lot of time with was Funfair. Uh, they've actually been building out a lot of the more practical like details in an implementation of a state channel kind of uh, implementation for their uh, casino application uh, with a lot of kind of fundamental differences in the sense that we have a lot of a more of a kind of generalized solution to building state channels. but they've had to figure out a lot of the nitty gritty details of how you say sign things without having to have the MetaMask pop up in, in the browser or how do you ensure that you have availability services for people in the casino and how do you ensure that there's various types of things like that are done in a way that the users who are playing these casino games on their laptops don't end up losing all their money or and somehow screw up how they're using their funds. They figured out a lot of those nitty gritty details. So speaking with them and hearing how they've approached it as a company trying to get a dApp out now has been phenomenal for us because a lot of the things that they've had to do are things that we've been building and that we're going to incorporate into our library that eventually is going to you know, be able to be used by everybody else so that they don't have to go through the same process again. Um, likewise, we spent a lot of time looking at kind of the fundamental um, better things that can be done within the fund figure system with a generalized channel approach. And so we're planning on spending more time with that team in particular over the next few uh, well, ideally for a long time as they're building their company, but definitely over the next few weeks as we kind of figure out how we can get the parity between our implementation and, and what they've already done. So being here for that was great. Yeah, well, I mean, one thing as counterfactual, so, so I guess the question was like, what are we going to be doing to ensure that we collaborate with other projects in the space? Uh, and what are we looking forward to with regards to things that we can perhaps work together with other people on? So counterfactual is fundamentally two distinct kind of parts. One is we do core crypto economic research to get this technique to be basically crypto economically secure. And then we also do like just intense engineering to make this viable for everyday people. So these are very two different types of two very different types of things that we do as a company um, or as a as a project essentially. Uh, the thing I'm more excited about right now is continuing the research side of that with projects like Plasma, uh, looking at other sidechain approaches and how we can make our solution general, not only in the sense for Ethereum, but for other types of blockchains in the future, because state channels fundamentally are not a particular blockchain specific technology add-on, they're a general technique uh, at the same kind of level as sharding or of sidechains that is applicable to anything in the entire cryptocurrency space or something used as a blockchain. And so we want to figure out how can we uh, continue that kind of research such that our library that we're building on top of it will be usable in any context where you rely on some blockchain or some kind of consensus mechanism in the background for your dApp. 
So that's, that's our goal. Our long-term goal is to be as general as possible, and so collaborating on the research end is extremely exciting, as well as on the implementation end, but I, I really love to spend more time diving into some of these other research kind of consensus mechanism protocols as to how we can adopt uh, state channel principles into them from the, from the onset. So what did I think about scaling now and would I come back again, things like this? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I absolutely love this event. The reason why is because oftentimes a lot of the people that are at this event are just heads down building stuff. And what, some, what can sometimes happen is that you get into these channels where uh, two groups are working on the same thing independently and sometimes doing a lot of overlapping work or one group doesn't realize how they could use some scaling solution for their DAP or some, in, some perhaps overly complicated thing that or potential collaboration opportunity is just never actually realized because it takes a lot of work to coordinate people for these things. So events like this are phenomenal. I, I totally subscribe to anything like this because the more we can work together on this stuff, the faster we're going to ship real dApps to everyday people, which ultimately is why we're all here in the first place because we think this technology can be genuinely useful for society. So if we can just coordinate ourselves better and more often, th that would be great. So events like these are phenomenal for that kind of stuff.